Here we go for Ruben Wolf. Keep it going for Marnie, you guys. It's not a competition because I know that Adam's special has 50,000 views and mine has 100 total. <laughs> he wins. <laughs> I know, I do have a YouTube special. Whether or not everyone here watches it depends entirely on what's going to happen in the next couple of minutes. So here we go, everyone. My name is Ruben. We all know that that's the name of a sandwich, right? Yes. Okay, but what you don't know is that it's actually Hebrew for behold, a sandwich. <laughs> that was a good opening joke. <laughs> no, it, like... It's Hebrew for Behold the Sun, because like I was my parents' first kid, so that name meant a lot when they picked it. And when my brother's born years later, I got to pick the name. Something that meant a lot to me. I picked the name Ronin. That's Hebrew for actually I wanted an Xbox. <laughs> okay, keep going. <laughs> no, I um let's see, I'm trying to date. Problem is I'm really insecure about my body, especially when it comes to girls, because I think I have the type of body girls call a great personality. <laughs> Right? It's been called cute, huggable, snuggly. That, that's all things women look for at a build a bear. So, <laughs> I've been told I have an athletic build. I'm like, yeah, if the sport is eating hot dogs, you know? <laughs> I like it. Keep laughing. I'm going to take a sip of whiskey. I've been there, buddy. I don't know if that heckle was English. <laughs> I'll just keep going then. I, uh, I, like I said, I'm trying to date him on the dating app Hinge. If you guys don't know what Hinge is, it's a dating app where every girl is better than you. <laughs> every girl's profile picture is them on a rooftop and not one wants to jump off. How do I compete, you know? <laughs> also, I get asked all these trap questions on a first date, like, uh, what do you do for a living? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I brought you to a Wendy's, you figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> also, can we split the check? <laughs> that was actually a fun date. Uh, I ordered a Baconator, she ordered an Uber home. So, <laughs> I'm actually, uh, believe it or not, I'm actually seeing a girl uh, right now that I met on Hinge. She's really into me, and that means I can't trust her. <laughs> <laughs> Right? 31 years, barely a woman looks my way, and now one does. Who the fuck put her up to that? <laughs> I don't trust the word she says. She's like, I think you're the cutest boy I've ever met. I'm like, I think you're my high school bullies in a costume, you know? <laughs> I appreciate the verbal verification. <laughs> Are you my high school bully? <laughs> You might be. You sound like him. He was also a drunk asshole. <laughs> oh, I lost everyone, didn't I? <laughs> don't worry, I'm going to win you all back with this next joke. <laughs> I don't have a lot of luck with women. I don't. I've never had a girl flirt with me. There we go. Now we all feel bad again for you. <laughs> I got you back. No, I've never had a girl flirt with me. Closest I've ever got is a drugstore clerk once asked if I had a tube of chapstick in my pocket or if I was just happy to see her. <laughs> I know, I was just shoplifting chapstick, though. <laughs> and I have, a, I have trouble, like, approaching women. People always tell me, Ruben, the worst thing a girl can say is no. I'm like, really? The first girl I asked out said, as if, Ruben, you're fat and ugly. <laughs> I know, she could have just said no. <laughs> is no really the worst thing a girl can say? Like, what about fuck you, or I'm a Jets fan, or uh, <laughs> Heil Hitler, right? Like, that's... <laughs> That's way worse than no. No one ever approached a girl who says hi to Hitler and think, well, she didn't say no, right? <laughs> I don't know, you might, but... <laughs> Cleveland Browns, baby, Cleveland Browns. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> I, <understood> <laughs> I love it. I'm going to say a joke and someone's just going to yell something random back. <laughs> That's how the set's going to go. Uh, let's see. I, uh, oh, speaking of dating, I've been watching that Jeffrey Dahmer show. Anyone else lonely? I know. Here we go. Here we come. I know, it's a little, it's okay, it's a, it's a little factually inaccurate anyway, because I don't know if you guys know this, but when they found Jeffrey Dahmer, they found three human heads in his refrigerator. Three human heads. That is crazy. I can't even fit a gallon of milk in my refrigerator. 
right? <laughs> I'm actually shop. I'm actually uh, shopping for a refrigerator right now. I'm just telling the salespeople, give me something Dahmer sized, you know. <laughs> I must be a real New Yorker, because I'm watching the show and I'm just so fixated with his apartment. <laughs> Dahmer's got a living room, a bedroom, a fish tank. Guys, besides the murders, Dahmer's killing it, you know? <laughs> and then, spoilers, they tore the whole building down. They tore the entire building down where he lived. They're like, nobody wants to live here. I'm like, I do. <laughs> leave the human heads. I can use the company, you know? <laughs> I do like you. <laughs> You're one of the good ones. I uh, actually just got a place to myself. My first place on my own. I'm really excited about it. No one cares. That's okay. It's a, it's a minor accomplishment. You don't have to clap. It's all right. I also just bought my very first TV. Anyone else own a TV? <laughs> yeah. Okay. See if you guys agree with this. Not, I think nothing makes you feel more like an adult than buying your very first TV and immediately trying to figure out how to watch porn on it, right? <laughs> I know, smart TV, perverted Ruben, everyone. <laughs> but that's how, that's how modern men are right, like right now. If you can plug it to a wall and it lights up, you've got to be able to watch people fuck on it, right? <laughs> that's how I'm still trying to get Pornhub on my Keurig machine, so. No, you're wrong. That was a good joke. <laughs> and I have about 10 more minutes of them, so. <laughs> Here comes a totally original premise for a single white male comic. I watch too much porn. What? Didn't see that coming. <laughs> I even watched the behind the scenes making of a porn movie recently. Bad idea, but I have a newfound respect for porn stars because they have to do it with all those people staring at them. I have trouble doing it with one girl looking back at me. <laughs> my trick is usually in bed, I close my eyes and I pretend I'm someone else. You know, like. Look, you just sound really inspirational. I'll close my eyes and go, you can do it, Greta Thunberg. And uh, <laughs> if you didn't like that pornography bit, you're going to hate this one. Here we go. <laughs> I was actually just reading that uh, pornography kind of fucks with your head because it gives you unreal expectations of what sex should look like. But uh, I kind of disagree. Every porn scene I've seen has been pretty darn accurate because to this day, I've never seen a porn scene end with I love you, Ruben. So... <laughs> All right, it's a slow burn. Keep the laughing going for your house, everyone. You've been wonderful. I've been Ruben Waltz.